Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Capricorn Goddess. Guys, excuse my voice, my nose is stuffy. I have allergies, of course. Um, this reading is going to be for my fire signs. So if you are a Leo Aries Sage, this reading might be for you. Take it as it resonates. If not, leave it. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, guys, if you like my readings. Um, I'm going to, I'm doing this for all my signs. Um, I'm going to pull one of these animal spirit cards for you guys, and I'm going to read it out of the book. So let's go ahead and hop in, fire signs. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what messages do you have for my fire signs at this time? Guys, excuse me if you happen to hear my baby. She's here with me. Okay, my apologies. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what messages do you have for my fire signs? Leo is that. Let me get that a complete shuffle. So what messages do you have for my fire signs? We have the moth. Okay. And let's get one more for my fire signs. We have the raccoon. So when I see the raccoon card in this deck, I feel like somebody's been wearing some sort of mask here, not showing their true authentic self is what I'm picking up with that raccoon. But let's see what the book has to say about these. The moth is um, air energy. So some of you guys could be dealing with the air sign or some of you guys have air highly aspected in your chart is what I'm picking up here. And some of you guys could be dealing with a earth sign, possibly. Okay, it says, Impulsive, hasty, wishful. The moth is, sure the grass is greener on the other side. Moth energy is at play when we're attracted to easy solutions or anything shiny and new. This can lead to unfinished projects, disappointment, or burnout. It's helpful to remind moth personalities that life is complex no matter the illusion no one ex exempt from the trials and tribulations of this great journey practice seeing life as an infinite mystery rather than wishing it was easier or different okay so with that card fire signs some of you guys could be impulsive at this time. Some of you guys could just be jumping in things, rushing, making real hasty decisions. Spirit is asking for you guys to slow down a bit. You are a fire sign, so. And I know I have fire in my chart as well. Um, Spirit is asking for you guys to slow down, relax, breathe, and not make too many impulsive type of decisions and to me when i get this card i might pull that out for you guys the wisdom oracle um when i see this moth card i feel like someone could have possibly felt like whatever glitter is gold they normally say everything that glitters is not gold but in this case whoever this is whether it's you fire sign or someone you're dealing with someone thought the grass was greener on the other side someone i feel like someone here wore a mask i feel like someone has been pretending here whether it's you or the person you're dealing with Someone is pretending to like some or love something or to be interested in something and truly they're not. I'm getting that from that card. I'm getting a lot of downloads here. I feel like somebody is pretending here and not showing their true authentic self is what I'm picking up with that card. Okay, let's go to Raccoon, which is Earth Energy. This is the raccoon card. Can y'all see that? It says talented, 
in hiding. Raccoon energy is at play within all artists. To greater or lesser degrees, at best, it indicates talent, tendency, and skillfulness with a particular musical instrument or creative tool. Its shadow side points to an unresolved issue around self-image and success, sometimes using a stage name or wearing a mask. I said that. It says works in an artist's favor. Other times it limits its creativity. Am I who my audience thinks I am? What if I am ready to grow into something more? It says raccoon energy won't let us off the hook until this creative ego fear is resolved. So I feel like <clears throat> some of you guys are working on new projects at this time. New business ventures, I feel like. And I feel like some of you guys are very, very talented. And I feel like some of you guys have not stepped out of your comfort zone. Who else I said that for? I think it was Earth Sign, because that's really the up of all I've done was the Earth Signs. Yeah, so some of these cards here are clarifying the Earth Signs reading. I feel like some of you guys are wearing a mask at this time and not really showing your true authentic self. That's what I'm getting. Let's pull one of the wisdom oracle cards for you guys. This is gonna be for my fire sign. Spirit, what messages do you have for my fire? Look, I can't make it up. All that glitters. I'm not making this up. I feel like someone thought all that glitters was going to be gold here. I feel like somebody is wearing a mask here. I might title this video The Mask, okay? Spirit, clarify the all that glitters. Something's not what someone expected. That's what I'm picking up here. It's not all it cracked up to be. Yeah, come to the edge. I feel like somebody took a leap of faith here and did something. And I feel like it's not working for this person, whether this is you. Yeah, the higher power. Spirit is stepping in and orchestrating this because I feel like whatever this is was built on a faulty foundation. Look, I can't make it up. Not for you in higher power. Spirit is showing someone here that something is not for them. Whether this is a job, a relationship, a certain career. Something here is not for you. So that's the title for you, um, Fire Signs. Not for you. Something is not for you, Fire Signs. I don't know what this is. Let's go ahead and tap in. Spirit, clarify. The not for you and higher power for my fire sign. Something is not for the fire signs or the person they're dealing with. Somebody's wearing a mask here. Let's see so you guys can see the cards a little bit. Something is not for my fire signs. What is this? We have six of pentacles. So, yeah, I feel like fire signs, you guys could have been given to something or someone that's not for you. I feel like someone has been overextending themselves here. What is the six of pentacles for my fire signs? Yeah, knight of wands, that's fire energy. Uh, specifically, um, Sagittarius energy. Some of you guys could be a Sag or... You are giving this to a Sag. Yeah, the lovers. Gemini energy. Maybe someone has been giving too much to a lover. Someone also could be giving to two people here as well. What is this? Yeah. I knew it. We have the world card and the ace of cups. Someone's definitely in their feelings here. We have the world card in reverse, and we have the ace of cups in reverse with the two of cups. I feel like someone has been given to either more than one person or somebody's been given a lot of themselves in a relationship here. And somebody doesn't want it to be over here, but 
with the Ace of Cups being in reverse, I feel like there's no love here. Possibly. I'm getting no love. Yeah, we have the King of Swords, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone is making some sort of logical decision here. Uh, someone sees this. Could be this King of Swords, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavy Gemini here. There could have been a player here as well, given to two or given to multiple. Yeah, we got the King of Wands. There you go, fire sign. Yeah. I feel like someone wants to give more passion here. That's what I'm picking up. Someone's giving out passion with the Knight of Cups, but no money. Someone's not investing in this. They will invest sexually. Yeah, five of cups. Now somebody's in regret. At this time, somebody's sad over this. Yeah, tower. Something's ending here. Spirit, I said spirit is orchestrating this. Spirit is putting whatever this fake shit is, is what I'm hearing. Fake, phony relationship. Spirit is ending this. It was not built on a sturdy foundation. Yeah, there's some sort of jealousy here as well. Someone here could be jealous of their actual partner. <laughs> five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like somebody here is jealous as well. I don't know what this could be. A Leo with the Strength card. Somebody's trying to gain their strength to, you know, accept the fact that this is not for them, whatever this is. Spirit, could you clarify the lovers in the two of cups? Could be a marriage as well. Yeah, this is definitely a relationship. Four of wands with the will of fortune. Some is getting ready to change here. Quickly with the knight of swords. Somebody doesn't see this coming. Yeah, communication. This is coming in quickly for someone. I don't know what this is, fire signs, but someone here has been putting time and effort in something that is fake and not real here. Someone lacks uh, empathy here as well, I'm picking up. I don't know. Someone wants to put in the work for passion, but that's about it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sag, at this time? Yeah, nope. I keep looking at this uh, not for you card. Something's not for someone. Someone's not for someone here. I don't know what this is, but Spirit is, yeah, we got the evil eye and memories of us. Hmm. Someone could be reminiscing here as well. Someone seen in the evil eye. What is this for my fire sign? Leo Eric Sag. Yeah. I said someone could be reminiscing. I have flashbacks about us. Someone's having flashbacks here. Yeah. Okay. Someone's under spiritual attack. Or somebody feels like what's happening to them is their karma with the evil eye and spiritual attack. Someone misses somebody here. What is this? Ghosting you. Ooh, this is in a collective. There go fire sign. So fire sign, did you guys possibly ghost somebody or did somebody ghost you fire sign? Someone ghosted somebody here. Because this was strictly sexual is what I'm picking up. Drug addiction. You're the only one for me. And we have air sign energy here. Some of you guys could be dealing with the air sign. There's an air sign here that's super obsessed with someone. And could be super toxic. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. With the devil and the air sign. There's an air sign here. That's toxic as hell. If you guys are dealing with the air sign. Yeah, this is why spirit is saying, this is not for you. 
whatever this is. A wrong cookie is what I'm hearing. <laughs> messages do you have for my fire signs the fool and the queen of wands yeah i feel like someone is gonna take a leap of faith here and possibly close this cycle let's see what else we have yeah someone's having sleepless nights here over this here that's going on Somebody doesn't want it to end because we do have the world card here, but it's in reverse. Someone wants to keep fighting for this, even though they know that this is not real love. Could be a Leo here. Spirit, what's hidden about this situation? Yeah, I feel like there's a masculine energy here in their feelings possibly wanting to spend time with someone or could be having financial issues is what i'm picking up here what else let's end this for my fire signs something's not here for somebody fire signs whether this is you or the person you're dealing with and someone's gonna find out what this is why wow, that's a lot it says it's you and always been you it says, from the first moment we touch, your arms feel like home. I, can't, I cannot hide my smiles even when we are apart. You are much more beautiful than you know. So I do feel like there's a strong attraction here, strong chemistry here, strong passion here. But I feel like that's all it is. I'm sorry, guys. That's just what I'm picking up. Take it as it resonates. I just feel like someone was overextending their self and giving to someone and was not receiving that same reciprocation back in return, especially when it came to love with the Ace of Cups in reverse. So, fire signs, I hope this message helped you guys out there. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you like my readings. Take care, fire signs.